Welcome to Karen's Energy 2 Minutes of Health video series. Today we're going to talk about the digestive system. Yeah, what happens when you put something in your mouth and where does it go and how does it come out? Let's discuss that right now. You take that organic Granny Smith apple and you start chewing it. You start chewing that and you have amylase that is breaking down and coming out of your salivary glands and that amylase is an enzyme and it's breaking down the carbohydrates. You chew, chew, chew. Mm, it tastes good. And it goes down your esophagus into your stomach, and your stomach is located right here below your heart. This is not your stomach. And under your heart sits that stomach. That stomach is not a pit of hydrochloric acid, but you need hydrochloric acid. And so when you eat something, it secretes out of the stomach, and in the stomach it starts breaking down pathogens and foreign invaders. It starts breaking down food. It releases pepsin. Pepsin is then released to break down your proteins. All that happens in your stomach when you eat something. And as the food leaves the stomach into the duodenum, or duodenum, it is formed into chyme. Squirt, 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 squirt. And hopefully, if your stomach is acidic enough, by the way, if you have acid reflex, no more calcium carbonate things for you. You don't want to alkalize your stomach. No, that'd be bad. You want to have it acidic. You want 2 to 4% acid in your stomach all the time because that acid is what breaks apart everything. You don't want to alkalize your stomach. Now, if you're starting to have heart palpitations and heartburn, just by me sharing that with you, see me after class. We'll give you a two minute to get rid of acid reflex for the rest of your life series answer. Anyhow, so the stomach then secretes this kind squirt, squirt, squirt in your duodenum. That duodenum is about 10 inches long and a lot happens right there because behind that stomach you've got a pancreas. Kind of looks like a piece of corn on that cob. And that pancreas has beautiful islets of Langerhan where you can hang out on a beach. Just kidding, wrong islands. Anyhow, that islets of Langerhan is where beta cells live. Beta cells create insulin to break down all of your sugars. You've got pancreatic enzymes and all of this is being secreted throughout the body. So when your food enters the duodenum, the duodenum, you've got pancreatic enzymes, sodium bicarbonate coming to alkalize the acid from the stomach and all that starts to break things down. You also have enzymes being made in the intestinal system that are coming out to help break things down. And so through this 23 feet of intestinal system, and may I demonstrate, dun, 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 this is in your body. This is the digestive system. And this is just shoved way up inside of your body. So, as everything starts to go through this corrugated digestive system, you have millions of villi. And this is exactly what a villi looks like. Hi, hi, I'm a villi. Okay, these are microvilli, and they're held together by tight junctions. And they line the corrugated intestinal system. <laughs> suck them things up. They suck everything you ate. Get sucked up by these microvilli and they get taken to the circuitry system unless you have uh, leaky gut. Then you're, you are not, your tight junctions are no longer tight. And then when you eat food, instead of being sucked up into the microvilli to be taken to the liver, it just goes right in the bloodstream. Alert, alert, you have leaky gut. You have allergies. You're going to have a stroke, right? And so we need to fix that leaky gut. That's what's happening inside that small intestinal system. As it travels through 23 feet and past million of happy villi who are sucking everything right up, whatever wasn't sucked up by the villi ends right here. You have an ileocecal valve. Take your hand, find your right hip, come on over and there's your ileocecal valve. Whoa, there it is. That is where your small intestinal system meets your colon. Your colon is your large intestine. It's not very large at all. It's five feet. It ascends to right under your rib. Find your rib cage. That's where it comes up to. So it ascends. It transverses under your rib cage. It comes down and descends and then exits. So your colon is maybe five feet long, ascends, transverses, descends, and exit. And then you poop out everything that didn't get sucked up by the microvilli. Digestive system is amazing, but let us not forget a very important component, and that would be your liver. The liver sits on the right side of your body. So here's your heart, here's your stomach, you've got your pancreas, you've got your spleen, right? And on the right-hand side, you have your liver. And your liver comes from above the waist up to the middle of the breast, over on the top of the stomach and down. That liver has over 500 functions. The one thing it does is it makes bile. The liver makes bile and stores it in the gallbladder. Your gallbladder is just a holding tank for bile and we wouldn't want to remove the holding tank because how would we get the bile from the liver to our duodenum and to the rest of our body? You won't. So you need to keep your, your good gallbladder and that gallbladder then takes the bile, which is what breaks down fat, and it takes that bile, squirt, 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 and puts it in the new all denim. So, ta-da! You have digestive system made easy.